Buck, Billy seems largely pleased with how the season went, you know, regardless of the ending. Do you share that, that sentiment? Well, believe me, Billy and I don't, don't take it. We're, you, know, you, you want to be the last team standing. It's selfish. You know, you, you're jealous, you're envious. Don't, don't confuse. You know, we're trying to keep a grip on reality, but turn the page and get on to the things that we're responsible for in the off season. Because, like I said, the baseball world flies, and uh, you know, I've all, I, I know I have the utmost confidence we'll be cutting edge and, and be ahead of the curve and, and be where we should be on things. So, um, you know, it'd be very easy to say, well, we weren't the last team standing. There, yeah, there's some, there's some great moments. Uh, just that I'll take back, you know, the, the humanistic things that nobody saw behind the scenes. And that's what really tugs at your heart after a season like that. Because, you know, if it was fair, uh, we'd still be playing. But there's other teams that have good people and have good. And I told the guys in the season, I don't think I've ever been around a group of people that were as good a human beings and as good of players. That combo doesn't always go together. And, um, you know, guys that you would, you know, if you were in college or high school or something, you'd probably hang out with them, you know. But, but you also have respect for what they accomplish and how hard it is to do what they do and uh, with all the expectations that they created in a lot of ways. You know, if you'd have left spring training last year and asked everybody to raise their hand that you're going to win 100. And, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, I'd rather win 92 and be the last team standing, you know. So, you know, there's different parts of the season. You know, the spring you got to accomplish things. Regular season you got to accomplish things. We didn't get the last part right, but I guarantee you we're going to be pretty hard self-evaluators, and uh, we'll try to continue to surround ourselves with people that uh, that share that that feeling because it's, it's a very the Mets are very precious to our fans, and they are to us too.